Hello everyone, today we're going to get started on our rose window. So, you have an option with what materials you use today. You can choose a piece of paper and some washable markers, or you can choose a piece of tin foil with some different colored Sharpies. If we're at home, we might wanna do option one. If we've received our art kits already, then we have these markers and we have some nice paper in our sketch pad. If we haven't received our art kits, just use whatever materials you have at home. So let's get started with option one. So we need to create all of the colors that we have just looked at in our PowerPoint of our rose windows. So I'm starting off by drawing a circle. You can trace something if you would like to help you draw a perfect circle, but it does not need to be perfect. Now I just continue to go around that circle with all different designs and colors. I'm making sure to keep everything in a circular form. This is also called radial. So I am making a radial design. Here I just sped up the video a little bit and I'm continuing to color my page, continuing to go in the circular form or radial form making sure to color all my spots in, and I'm just continuing that all the way to the edge of the paper. So if you decided to use this method, we can do something kind of crazy but really cool with our paper. I have a spray bottle, and I'm gonna lightly mist my artwork. As you can see, all of the colors start to move around on the paper and it kind of looks similar to a tie-dye effect. Make sure if you do this at home, you have an extra sheet of paper underneath. That way, your color does not leak all over your table. I noticed I have a couple puddles on my paper. I sprayed it a little bit too much in certain areas so I'm just going to grab a napkin and blot those areas. I chose to spray my artwork a couple more times. That way the whole page got a light misting of water and I continued to blot certain areas if I started to see puddles were forming. This step is completely optional. If you don't want to spray your artwork, you don't have to but I think it's fun and I think it ends up looking a little bit more like a rose window. Okay, now this is option two. If we chose to use our tin foil, we need to use Sharpies. If we try other markers, most likely they will resist the tin foil and they won't want to stick. So if we have a bunch of Sharpies, then we can do the tin foil method. So some of us in class may choose this method. So here I am making a radial design. And once again, I'm starting with a circle. And now I'm just working my way all around the whole sheet of tin foil. Tin foil is a little bit different to draw on, but I think it's super fun. I like how reflective the tin foil is, and it really makes the colors stand out and reflect almost like they do in a real window. After you are all done coloring, please put this artwork in a safe spot because we are going to need it for next class. 